hello everyone so in this particular video we are going to do face detection in media pipe so this is going to be a very very simple video because uh, as you can see from the image itself we, we are going to do uh, two things basically we are going to detect the region or the bounding box where the face is and certain points so we can you know uh, as you can see in this person's face you can see um, there is uh, the ear over here then there is eye then the tip of the nose and obviously the lips so these are the things that we are uh, these six points and the bounding box we will be uh, finding in our particular video okay so um, there's nothing much in here it's just basically you know uh, as I said uh, left eye right eye nose tip uh, left eye trajan and right eye trajan I don't know what that means but whatever it is okay uh, again we are taking the python code sample we will be looking into that and uh, you know uh, so we are doing it for the images same stuff for the uh, videos as well so um, in the models part okay what it uses is basically something called as blaze phase blaze phase okay so models listed is in the section are variants of this blaze phase uh, basically uh, what you have the this blaze phase is uh, for the GPU and you know all the edge devices which does not have a lot of compute power and that's why it has to be light, lightweight at the same time it has to be accurate and uh, optimized for mobile GPU inference which means if, if even if the uh, compute capability is low it should be able to work as suitable for applications like 3d uh, key point uh, estimation expression classification and face region segmentation whatever but we will be only be using it for our face detection okay it uses a sim uh, is a lightweight feature extraction network similar to mobile v v mobile net okay uh, so um, the one that we are going to use is uh, called the blaze face uh, short range basically it's a SSD with a custom encoder okay SSD is single shot detector okay so you can go over here and download the other two models are actually not there you can see it's coming soon and here also it's coming soon which means these are not there okay so let's start with the coding part over here um, basics again import your basic uh, to say your media pipe and then you can hear uh, you know uh, this uh, code will be there uh, the link will be there in the description the code will be uploaded on github and you can find the uh, link for this particular model over here okay and then again cv2 and patches uh, im show patch you import um, as usual media pipe as np for tasks you import python and from task or python you import vision because we are doing a vision task again you have to give the uh, to say uh, path of the model over here you can go over here and then you can you know um, you can basically okay it's not opening right now but doesn't matter doesn't matter okay so what we're going to do is uh, we are going to con whatever the path that of the model that we had seen as a model will be somewhere over here it can it's not being seen over here doesn't worry I uh, don't worry basically you can uh, copy the path over here okay so you have the base options so this is how you uh, define your base options in uh, uh, media pipe then again you'll be passing on these base options to the face detection options and then you will be creating another options and after that you will be giving it to the uh, vision dot face detector dot create from options and then finally you'll be given the final options and then this is how you create a detector okay after that the the, the image is there um, so if i can show you the image over here so um, this person this woman is there so this image we are taking um so obviously the bounding box is not there on the original image but you can see okay so this is the image the face image that we are giving in uh, into the model okay and this is how you run the detector you said detector dot detect and then you pass in the uh, image after that um, this is uh, this will whatever the result will be coming that will be saved in detection result okay and when you do a dir of that you basically get three things so what we are interested is in is detection so what i'm going to do i'm going to say detection results dot detections and let me print so there are certain things you can see over, over here you can see okay so there is detection uh, there is also categories then there is key points and yeah mostly and in under key points you have five key points so um oh, sorry, uh, sorry six key six key points so what i'm interested in you know i'll be first taking the detections only so as you can see uh, detections okay so let's see what is there in the detections part what are the things that we can do if you go over here you can see bounding box you can find you can find the categories and also we are interested in the uh, key points so what you do is first you look at the bounding box okay so you want the bounding box so you will say detection uh, detection underscore result dot detections of zero 
dot bounding box so once you do that you get the bounding box as this is the x min y min that is uh, so if you are uh, obviously i believe you know what a bounding box is so if uh, this is the bounding box this is x min comma y min okay and again this is the width and this is the height right so this is the width and this is the height so what you want over here is basically that so um, this is the x min this is the y min this is the width and this is the height okay so, um, th so th the way you take this thing out is you basically copy this entire thing over here okay you copy it over uh, here and then whatever is there uh, origin x you just write origin x so that will give you the x min and same thing for y min you write origin y you write width over here and height over you you'll get all the four so you can hit that shift and enter then over here what you can do is now uh, this is basically a bounding box so let's plot the bounding box so this is your image uh, for the uh, plotting the bounding box we'll use a rectangle function save it to a rectangle we'll pass in the image that we have already read in the last uh, line then we pass in the top left coordinate over here okay that is x min y min and then the bottom right coordinate we have to pass part bottom right coordinate obviously if uh, this is x min and this is width so this will become uh, this will become uh, the x coordinate will become x min plus width right and what will be the y min so uh, y this will be x max okay and what will be the y max over here it will be uh, y max will be y min plus height so it will be y min plus height right so this is your x min x min and y min and x max and y max so basically this is your x min y min and if you the bottom right coordinate is x max y max okay so this is you this this one over here is x max y max and then 0 to 55 0 basically is your green so bgr and then 20 pixels is basically your thickness of the box so here you can see i have resized this uh, image because it was too big so i have resized it to 350 cross 350 and then i'm showing this particular image you can see the bounding box has been drawn properly after that what you have what you can do is um, so we have taken care of uh, bounding box now we can look into categories so what you did over here is let's go down and instead of bounding box uh, this is same but what you have given is categories uh, rest other thing is not important the score is basically the confidence score that is important over here okay so 90 percent good enough now what we want is key points so the six key points if you remember the eyes nose and the uh, what to say lip and you know they had said uh, left eye traction and trace you know whatever it was okay so the way you get it is you just say key points same thing as over here just remove uh, categories and you say key points over here so you'll get a list of key points okay so there are six in number so what i did is basically i read that image and now what i'm doing is i'm going to plot it over here as you can see these uh, points are plotted so what i'm going to do is again i'm going to read our image okay i'm going to see what is the height and width of our image by doing uh, image dot shape then for uh, you know for every uh, key point over here basically we are um, for every key point we are running a for loop and the key point is basically each key point over here what we do we take key point dot x and multiply it with the real width of the image so what we get is a real coordinate so these are normalized coordinates right so 0 0.48 0 0.65 0 0.39 so these are not real coordinates in order to get the real coordinates you have to multiply it with by a real width and real height so that's that is going to give you the x chord and y chord okay after that uh, the, the way you plot it is you basically say image to a cv2 dot circle you pass in the real image that you have a red over here a red over in this particular line after that what you do is you for give the uh, ray, uh, center of the uh, circle so that is x chord y chord uh, radius is uh, 20 and uh, yeah that's uh, center that's the radius the color is again green and minus one basically means that the circle will be fully filled from inside again we are uh, resizing that particular image so cv2 dot resize and i'm resizing it to 350 cross 350 and then we uh, show that particular image so you can see in this image um, you know the, these these eyes are uh, detected so what i think you know these some some of these points are not exact because you want the nose to be over here nose point to be here lips to be here but what i wanted to show is that if you are having a straight face because she is looking in a direction okay so this is not perfectly straight 
so if you are looking at this it looks like she's turning a little bit to the right even though she's uh, her gaze is in the front but her face is obviously tilted towards the right so let's say if uh, the face was completely you know pointed towards the center towards us then i think this would have been working correctly but still this is not that bad okay so uh, you know so this was uh, all in this particular video i hope you like the video if you like please like and subscribe thank you very much and bye